The family of Aretha Franklin continues to plan memorial events following the legendary soul singer's death on Thursday at the age of 76. Her funeral will be held at a 4,000 seat church in her native Detroit, just a few miles down the road from the church that sowed the Queens of Soul's royal roots. Back in 2011 for CBS Sunday Morning, I had a chance to go to that church with Aretha. This is your spot. This is where I sit when I come to church. This is where I, this is my seat. Don't sit in my seat. If you got your house on a solid rock. Her father, the charismatic Reverend C.L. Franklin, who was pastor here, would electrify audiences with his thunderous sermons. When you come face to face with temptation, to... then he'd call his daughter up to the pulpit. My dad had to push me to sing, though. I really didn't want to sing. Aretha was about 10 years old. I'm standing up on a little box. Uh, you were on a box? Yeah, the pulpit was too high. So they put a little box next to the pulpit. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, 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 I never knew just how he gave So this was, this was your place? Yeah, this is where we lived. We went back to the Franklin family home in West Detroit. You were saying in the day it was a show place. Yeah, it was definitely a show place. It was the most beautiful home I had ever seen. Where was your room? Right On here. On the second floor? Uh, yeah, right there. Uh-huh. When gospel greats like Mahalia Jackson or Clara Ward would visit the house, the young Aretha would watch from the top of the stairs. To see who was coming in and who was going out and peeping through the, the railing of the staircase. So it was special, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, who, very special. Who did you like to see most of all? <sighs> Sam Cooke. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, Sam. Aretha's life was also marked by tragedy. Her mother, who moved away when she was six, died four years later. In her autobiography, Aretha wrote, I cannot describe the pain, nor will I try. In 1979, her father was shot during a burglary in their Detroit home. He lingered in a coma for five years before his death. When uh, we were trying to get the park... Aretha asked the city to dedicate a local park to him. She wanted us to see it. But as we approached the park, she was overcome by emotion. Oh, you all right? That still means a lot to you. It took a minute for her to compose herself. It's a beautiful park. It is a beautiful park. I'm glad they dedicated it to him. Reverend Franklin envisioned a great career for his talented daughter. But likely even he did not imagine she would live to perform at the inauguration of the first African-American president. That goes down in history. I'm thankful that I was a part of that. Pretty amazing. Uh life and career that she had and what an extraordinary day that was i will i will never forget that day was there one standout moment well they were i mean obviously she got very emotional talking about her father yeah. very unexpectedly when we approached the park i i remember that and i will always remember her blushing when she mentioned sarah's <laughs> name it was like she was that 14 year old girl again at yeah. the top of the stairs you the, know the only beautiful thing in the last couple of days has been all the songs that we've gotten yeah. to hear over and over and, and over and again. that's the thing and and that's what'll survive. It's yeah. one of the most incredible catalogs. I mean, I think of her as the greatest singer of our time. Just an incredible voice, an incredible emotion. Such an original, too. And you know, that yeah. tableau of that ending shot there, really just so symbolic, so powerful. Thanks, Anthony.